سلام انا جو بريز جون اون جلوت لي هاو I don't know what happened to it, but the camera, is, is, it, it just wasn't all focus. And all the, every time you take a picture, the, the quality would just be trash. It's, it's like, they, they sent out updates to, to, mess it, to mess it up. That's what it was like, but um, yeah. Let me go ahead and play these um, pictures and videos that I took. Literally, I took this like five minutes ago. <clears throat> and these are some pictures that I took as well. Let the people see the chariots. <clears throat> and yeah, that, that was the video of this that I took a picture of. <clears throat> This was another chariot that was out there. And this was another chariot that was out there. <clears throat> and here goes another one. <clears throat> So that's about it, but I wanted to get a scripture real quick. <clears throat> yes, Psalms 37, chapter Psalms 34 and 7. This is the angel of the Lord, or the angel of the, of the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Shai, and camp around about them that fear him. And delivers them, and yeah, man, these vehicles, or should I say, the angels that are in them, we pilot these vehicles. <laughs> Literally, that's what's going to deliver the electron from the four winds, as it makes mention in the book of Matthew, um, Matthew twenty-three, no slack in Matthew twenty-four and thirty-one. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Yeah, and it's those vehicles, man, that are just shown on the screen. <clears throat> That's just some of them. There's whole different types of ones, man. There's ones that we've even seen before. There's different sizes as well. <clears throat> Let me um, get this real quick. Psalms 16 and 17, and it says... The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. And yeah, the point I'm making here is where it says the chariots of God, which a chariot would be a form of transportation or a vehicle. And even then the Lord spoke by the ministry of the prophets using similitudes. <clears throat> Basically, basically going into describing what they saw with the vocabulary they had back then. So transportation back then would be a chariot. <laughs> that would be a vehicle. <clears throat> Never then let me get it.
Hosea 12 and 10, he says, I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So yeah, like I said, carry it being a vehicle. Let's talk about the vehicles of God, which I just show you in, well, before I, I brought out the Bible. <clears throat> and also, let me get this as well. I'm just going to have to type in more. Here's equal ten. And ten, and it says as and as for their appearance, they four had one likeness, as if it were, look here, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. <laughs> and I've actually seen one of those. <clears throat> well, when I say I've seen one, I mean it, it, it was in my dream. And the crazy thing is, it's like one was one. Of the rings or the wheels were spinning clockwise, and the other one was spinning anti clockwise, and, and it, it was an amazing thing to see. <clears throat> and it says, When they went, they went upon their four sides, and just like those pictures I showed you, man, you got the chariot sitting on their sides, literally, it's literally sitting there on their sides. You got this one sitting like this. And you got this one sitting like this. And then you got this one sitting like this. <coughs> and then you just see them all there just chilling, man. Just chilling. <coughs> so like it says, and when they went upon their four sides, they turned not as they went. But to the place where the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went. <laughs> like literally they let us know. Wherever the angel he was piling the shit wanted to go, that's where the vehicle would go. Literally letting us know that these vehicles aren't flown by hands. They're flown by the spirit man. <laughs> and that reminds me of a dream that I had. <clears throat> where literally I had my own chariot, and I was connected to it, and I could communicate with the with, with the chariot by way of um, you could say te telepathy, like with, with, with my mind, or you could even say with the with the spirit man. It was the spirit that was controlling it, <clears throat> and literally, I beat myself into my own shift. And when I was in there, <laughs> it was it, it was like the TARDIS. It was like the TARDIS, man. If you watch Doctor Who, and you see, you see the outside of the ship. It's it's, it's it's small as hell, and then you go up inside, and it's like, yo, what the hell? It, it, it's like a whole house inside, and now it makes even more sense. Where the Lord said, "Enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee," because because literally in inside there, it's it's it's, it's homely, man. <laughs> and and there was many rooms. Or you could say chambers, man. <clears throat> but the the place where I went was the driving seat, which the driving seat, it was like a throne, man. It was like a throne in the middle of it. And then you, you sit down on the throne and you just use your thoughts, man. You use your mind. Well, that's what I did when I was inside my chariot. I used my mind to tell the chariot to go <clears throat> wherever I wanted to go. And if I wanted it to go faster, I, I could just say it or I could think it. But whatever I told the chariot to do, it did it, man. <laughs> like, literally, there was, there, was, there, was no, there was no limitations. And even then with the spirit, there was no limitations. 
and even with the Holy Spirit, the Rakaq, or dash, there's no limitations. But yeah, man, I want to give all praises, all and glory. Yehovah, Shibha, Shai, Boshim, Rakaq, Adash. And yeah, man, I hope you was edifying, inshallah, woman.